Hello friends and welcome back to Vampire. I'm Lady Lilia and it has been way too long since I played. I had, you know, some stuff going on over the weekend and I didn't get to play one episode and I feel really deprived of the game right now so I'm gonna play for like a hundred hours. <laughs> um, but I figured out one thing. I figured out how to track the like side quests. Um, if you go into people, it shows the investigations in this Thing. So I'm currently tracking this one uh, because I'd like to learn more about Delaney so that I can feed on him later and uh, You know have him get more experience. The only way I can I can assume that we um, Level up our mesmerized skill is if we if we like feed on people that are level one um, I never saw any any quests or tracking like progress bar or anything for my mesmerized level, so I'm just gonna assume that's the only way to do it. Um, well, hopefully I figure it out, but we're gonna try that. Uh, I'm gonna continue kind of doing what I was doing last time in the ducks, but eventually I am going to continue the main quest because I do think that it's probably the smartest thing to do at the moment. But since we are, uh, where is this quest at? It doesn't doesn't say. Remove the custom marker. Uh, oh, it's way down there in Southwark. South, South, Southwark. I forgot. I forgot how to say that. The NPCs have been telling me how to say that. I know. It's, I know it's not Southwark. I know that English people say it differently. So hopefully I'll hear it again because I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go back there. I'm gonna go all the way back and see what happens. I'm very curious what I can do with this. Hey dude, if I, I think I've talked to you, right? I think so. All right, let's see if we can even get back there. Um, I need to go, uh, is there a bridge there? All right. I haven't, yeah, I have to go through this house, don't I? Yes, the bridge. Back to the beginning of the game. Can I even get back where I want to go? That's a good question. I don't know if I can even get back there. The bridge is above me. Can I even? Maybe we need to go this way. Oh, there's evil people. Hello. I think there's another guy. Oh god. Yep. Oh. Okay, why can't I sprint around? There we go. Come on, I'm trying to use my ability. You jerks. There we go. Okay. okay, I gotta- I gotta get back into the swing of things here, apparently. Sheesh! Alright, I don't know, this is... a way that I possibly haven't been yet? Unless- actually, I think enemies respawn, so I could have been here already. Nope. Nope. Hey, you jerk! I'm getting my butt kicked. Feeling like I'm out of practice here. Very out of practice. Ugh, doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel good. I'll get back into it. Alright, pop- poplar- oh, is this a different area? Apparently, I don't know. I'm gonna explore here for a little bit. Let's see what I can come up with. If I can find a way to get back to that other area, I'd like to. All right, maybe I'll try for something else for now. Find out what happened. I could do these guys' quests. 
Um, or maybe I should know. He's already did his. I need somebody that is level one. I treated her. Oh, I didn't treat her? Have I slept since I treated people? I think I have. Fishburn, Tom Watts. Another body murdered. Choose what to do with Jack Gillingham's watch. Bring it to the relative or sell it to someone else. Oh. Gosh, this is so annoying. So very annoying. Well, I think I've I've confirmed that there is really not much to do in that particular area. So maybe I'll stick to this area. Can I go in here? No. Let's see what else see what else we can meet in this area. Have I talked to you yet? You don't Hello, boy. Uh, boy. Uh, hello. Good it's evening. Got gray Did hair. I scare you? <laughs> you have nothing to fear from me. No. It's just that people prefer to avoid me. Well, I won't. I'm a doctor. My name is Rufus, sir. Rufus Kingsbury. What can you tell me about this region? It's all about staying out of trouble. But since most people prefer to avoid me, it's pretty easy. Why do people avoid you? They call me Rufus the Curse. Around here, I'm a bit of a bad luck charm. Okay. Have you ever thought about leaving? <laughs> Where else would I go? At least I know these streets and some people around here. This is my city, for better or worse. Commendable, sir. Commendable. What do you do around here, Rufus? I listen to the news on the docks, sir. <laughs> and I smile at those kind enough to spare me a bob. Do you have a job? It's hard to work. What with my head and all. Since I was a boy, I've always had trouble remembering what I do and why I do it. What do people say about this place? Things have been tense between the wet boot boys and the communists. They both feel they <laughs> the should run the dogs. Boot boys. <sighs> I really want to know more about the wet boot boys. I, I, it's just so funny to me. <laughs> Are you alone? Where is your family? I, I don't have any. My parents are dead. Aww. So you have no home? You're sleeping rough. No. I mean, yes. I live on the streets. I have no home. You should be careful, Rufus. There are things that lurk in the shadows of this city. Things that prey on the lonely and the desperate. Uh -huh. I've known worse. I'm not all alone. I have Mrs. Fishburn. She's been very kind to me. Why do you think she's so considerate? I can't say, sir. I guess she's a good soul. Sometimes it's like she replaces the mother I lost, even if we're not related. Stella Fishburn. Okay, I don't remember where she is. That, oh, that unlocks some stuff, though. Okay. So long, Rufus. Be careful. Take care. Um... Stella Fishburn. Her? Yeah. Seymour Fishburn, Stella Fishburn. I haven't met her yet. But this is a quest for them. So why don't we do this? Okay. That makes more sense since I can't do the other quest. Retrieve the necklace, which is apparently right here. Does he have it? Do you have it? Good evening, Mr. Fishburn. Yeah, yeah. What can you tell me about this part of town? A shithole filled with maggots. Liars and thieves, all of them. Okay. Well, that's not helpful, sir. Anything new here? No, we need hints. Goodbye, Miss. We need more hints. Okay. Apparently, the necklace is. Oh. It's locked, all right. Why is it locked? Oh. 
Hello. Good evening, madam. I'm Dr. Reed. Oh, it's Miss Fishburne. Could I come in? That's where she is. Why? What do you want? I work at the Pembroke Hospital. I'm investigating the flu epidemic in this area. Oh, the Spanish flu. Well, that's quite liberal of you, Doctor. But this is no time to be knocking at people's doors. Bite sausages! I'll leave you back. Level Good night. two! Man, I'm guess I'm I'm wondering if I just need to f That's so annoying. Okay, I gotta remember that the fish burn people I can't I can't do that particular line until I get level two. There's gotta be a way for me to level it up in this area though. Because this area is supposed to Good evening, to sir. I'm amazed you made it back to the doctor. Maybe alone. this guy's what I need. For you. I saved well, you. I could say the same about you, young man. More to the point. Who the hell are you? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Yeah. And I am Archer Woodbead. Please excuse my assertiveness. I often forget I'm just an old prune. <laughs> At least you're aware of it. Okay, this is the this is the wet boots guy. If you were such a respected figure, surely you have many interesting stories about this part of town. You bet I do, but make no mistake. I'm no rat, sir. Some secrets are best left buried. Oh. Do you still know anyone? From the old days, I mean. Most of them are dead. I still give Miss Gillingham salutations. She doesn't remember me. She did once like me. Boy, <laughs> she was a beauty back then. Who would you trust around here? The owner of the Turquoise Turtle's a decent fella. Tom's his name. Sean Hampton's all right, too. Don't particularly share his religious views. He's quite devout, if you catch my meaning. He is, yes. Any remarkable new faces around here? Nobody. Well, there's that boy Rufus the Curse. I like him, despite the reputation he's made since his parents died. Poor little bastard. Why do you like him? I'm sure a district as colorful as the docks must have plenty of stories about strange visitors and creepy characters. So, you want me to talk about the sewer dog, don't you? If you don't mind. The sewer dog is a bitch. Appropriately named. An old woman dressed in rags. She has an elegance, though. Despite her ugliness, I saw her once. Scared the life out of me. I don't know what you're talking about. What can you tell me about this part of town? People used to feel safe around here. They had the gangs protecting them. Now all they do is bicker and plot against one another. Missing the good old days, are you not? Trust me, son. The longer you live, the less meaning your existence will have. You need to remember the days you still had beliefs. And what about the gangs? Back in my day, people trusted the wet boot boys. We looked out for the docks and its families. Nowadays, they're just a bunch of greedy fuckers. You were a gang member. I was their leader for a time, believe it or not. Now these bastards act like I'm nothing. Not one of them. They owe me some damn respect. Ah. Oh. Apparently I unlocked something. Yeah. Tell me about the Wet Boot Boys. Tell me about the Wet Boot Boys, Archer. I want to know more. We were there for the families and each other. It was us against the world. We were vicious, tough, even cruel. But we were united. You sound like you were some kind of radical union member. Yes, nowadays the communists and gangs squabble over pointless territory. Sounds stupid when you say it out loud. Tell me everything you know about the guard of Prewen. Andrew never told me what they do. I do know they're vigilantes with military training. Access to some impressive firepower. And what is your personal opinion about the guard, then? This guard of Prewen is just another gang preying on the young and naive. Preying on people like my boy. I know how it works. I invented it. Hmm. Why did your son really join the Guard of Prewen? If I believed in a higher power, I'd see this as punishment for my own sins. I deserve it for all the young men I enlisted back in the day. 
So your son has left you nothing to explain his actions? No letter or message? Not even a note. I'm a proud man, Dr. Reed. But I would kneel and pray if I thought it would give me my Andrew back. You don't believe in God, though, do you, Mr. Woodbeat? So why did he join? Now I think about it. Andrew joined the guard, not to defy me, but to follow in my footsteps, to make me proud. Have you always been so bitter? It's not bitterness. It's poorly masked disgust. When everything turns to shit, we all have to eat a spoon or two. Yeah, that's true. Old people always complain. <laughs> With everything that's happened recently, the war, Spanish flu, I must concede that these are difficult times. A few nights ago, I saw a kid eating a rat. He was right in front of one of those abandoned houses nearby, just chewing on a living rat's inside. Gross. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, there's a couple things to ask him or to find out about him still. But so far so good, I'd say. Um... I wish I could sort by lev like mesmerized level on these people. That would be cool. He's level three. Apparently, Archer would be. Okay, how do we find this necklace? Details. Seymour Fishburne seems quite irritable, man. Not exactly the friendly type. He confessed to me that he lost the necklace he wanted to offer to his mother. If I can help the man calm down, maybe I should try and find the lost gift. If I can help him calm down. Okay. Is it just literally somewhere around here, like, you know, in the sewer or something? A simple token. Retrieve the necklace. It seems like it's around here. At least the, the quest marker is pointing to right here, but it's also pointing to right where they are. I'm thinking maybe the guy has it. Um, the, the homeless guy. But I probably can't figure that out quite yet. Because I can't talk to the lady. Good evening, Mr. Yeah, yeah. Um. Goodbye, Mr. I need Mesmerize level 2 in order to talk to Lady Pants. So that's not going to happen. Um, but I think I talked to a lot of people that were here anyways. Let's look in... Okay, the docks. I, I still haven't met everyone. Um, Enid Gillingham. Enid's son, Jack, has been killed. How do I find her? There's all these people I need to look for. Okay, I haven't gone over here, possibly? Oh, this is highlighting this whole red area. Okay, never mind. So maybe... Maybe it's somewhere... Um... Like, it's just somewhere in the docks. I don't know where. So it might take me a bit to find it, but I've already been down here. Didn't realize I could go this down. This is a slaughterhouse. <gasps> From Seymour, beloved sister Stella. From Seymour to my beloved mother Stella. Oh. Fishburn, that sneaky bastard. Why is he a sneaky bastard? Is he trying to tell me that he hid it down here? It's locked. How do I open it? Can I? Shloopy, gabushki. No. Okay. Well, I got it. Uh, guess I'll go talk to them. It gave me a marker, huh? What did it? It gave me a marker on my map. Why did it give me a marker there? Weird, I don't know. I don't understand. Oh. What does it say now? 
Choose what to do with the necklace. Bring it back to Seymour or give it to his mother. Let's give it to his mother. Maybe that's also a, a different way in for me to talk to her. Maybe he sold it? I don't I don't know why. I can't believe I'm doing this. Yum, 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 yum. Do you have anything do you have anything new to say? Good evening. Hello again. Hello again. Oh, I haven't talked to her about everything. What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things, and I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. Gang member and shopkeeper. If you're interested. I already asked you about that. What can you tell me? You can't try. Really? Don't you think that's a little bit excessive? Bastards, all of them. This region only responds to violence and threats. Okay, so it was only open Goodbye. because there was additional options. Okay. Is it, was it here? Where was she? Here. Knock, knock! Good evening, madam. It's Dr. Reed again. You best come back in. No, but I have your necklace! I'll leave you then. Dang it! Good night. Dang it all! Evening. Evening, miss. Okay, so I guess I'll give it back to him then. Folk gossiping and scared. Where is he? He's around here somewhere. Is it you? Talkie talkie. Good evening, Mr. Yeah, yeah. I have retrieved the gift for your mother, sir. Great. Give it here then and take this for your trouble. I also found the corpses. The ones under which you left the necklace, Mr. Fishburne. Ah, so that's where I left it. I can be a bit stupid sometimes. As a man of science, I'd like to try to understand why you killed those people. Why does there need to be a reason? They were just there. It happened. Uh... Sure. You're not a mindless animal, Seymour. Surely you have something to say about these murders. Speak up and I will listen without judgment. Could be right, Dr. Reed. Maybe it'll do some good to confide in a gentleman like you. You being educated and all. Uh-huh. Why are you crazy? Did you take pleasure in killing them, Seymour? All those people, all those lives extinguished. I take no pleasure from it. Just gives me peace. Stills the anger. Hmm. For a time. Hmm. Don't you think you should seek help? Talk to someone you trust, someone who cares about you. No. And don't dare speak about me to your colleagues either. Keep your mouth shut tight. Especially about my mum. This rage you feel. Have you ever been able to control it? Resist it? I... I tried. For my mum, I tried for her. Telling the truth made me feel better. For a while. Uh. Tell me about your victims, Seymour. Who were they? Why them? Was there a link? Why should there be? They just kept getting on my nerves at the worst times, that's all. Huh. How many? How many victims? It's not like I keep records. It happens when it happens. You feel nothing, do you? No empathy for your victims at all. You seem pretty calm yourself, don't you? We're not talking about me. That right. Well, our calm's the only thing we have in common then. Why is your mother protecting you, Seymour? I'm her son. Seems obvious. She's the only one who knows me. Sometimes I think she knows me better than I know myself. I understand you love her, but can't you see the awful situation you've put her in? Do you think my mum would have a better life if I were dead? She seems so sad to know me sometimes. Yeah. 
Peter! I understand your mother's situation. Obtaining justice at the price of betraying her own flesh. It's quite a dilemma. It might be my mum's wish that I end up swinging from a hangman's noose. But she wouldn't want to be the one who ties a knot round my neck. So that's why she's probably so nice to that other guy, because she doesn't respect her actual son. Um, all right. Goodbye. All right, Mr. Fishburn, that was quite an interesting story. <laughs> Let's see if we can talk to Mum. So love to gaze at the stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fog's been hiding them of late. Hello. Good evening. You bet. Dang it. <sighs> Bollocks. I'm not getting anywhere with this shenaniganry. Okay, well, at least I finished that quest. Um... I still have some stuff to unlock about him, though. What about you? Tom Watts. Retrieve some gin bottles. Uh, sure. For the innkeeper guy. He's Tom Watts, right? Yeah. But yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, where's this at? Over there! Okay. That's... Can we go... I wonder if we can cross using some cool te teleporty vampire abilities or if we have to go all the way around. Yeah, very nice. Okay. It's also possible that um, I can get to the other part of town over here. Like, probably not, but maybe. No, that's definitely not how we. I don't know how to get back over there. But I'm just not going to worry about that for now. Oh, hey, lads. Uh... <laughs> so I retrieve the gin bottles. Oh, is it actually? Oh, hello. It's just down here. here somewhere. Nineteen meters above. Okay, it must be inside this building then. There's safer places to be than here. Oh, hey. Stupid beast! <laughs> Do you die, vermin? Okay, you have no loot. And you have no loot. Well, darn it. Gosh, darn it. Okay. Door has been unlocked. Really? Newspaper article. Details. Youth arrested for attempted murder. Last night, a young man named Tom Watts was arrested by the police for attempted murder in the renowned restaurant The Silver Bell on Percival Street. The suspect was spotted standing in front of the restaurant, pointing a gun at customers for about one minute without firing. Two witnesses promptly reported his behavior. Watts was arrested at without incident, but refused to give any explanation for his actions and only gave his name. His gun was loaded, confirmed the policeman who answered our questions. It is likely that Watts will feel the force, the full force of the Majesty's courts for this transgression. The young man shall be jailed for at least a few years at least. Does that unlock? Oh, there we go! That's the thing I didn't know about him! Awesome. Okay. Alright. Tom has so much alcohol, he could keep this district afloat for quite some time. Okay, cool. So it's been unlocked because that was the room that the alcohol was in and he gave me the key for that. So it's probably good to assume then that a lot of these locked doors will be opened, but only, uh, only if I have the quest to open them, which makes sense. Yay. Okay, now I can go back. So now we want to go back to... 
lie to Tom and keep them. But why would I lie to him? I'm, I think I'm gonna turn him in. I'd like to know more about him. He's gonna be worth a lot of yummy, delicious experience when I finally eat him. So, <laughs> yes, yes. This is annoying that I can't do this though, but oh well. I may have just missed out on this because I left that area too soon, it's possible. Okay, we'll bring him the gin bottles. Shibbity shoo, shibbity shibbity shoo, shibbity loo doo doo. Hello. Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? First. Ah, yeah. Why not leave town and start a new life after you got out of jail? I grew up in the East End. This is where my roots are. This is where I want to help others and die eventually. Don't you feel threatened, staying in such a violent and criminal neighborhood? I've made peace with my violent past, Dr. Reed. I may not be a pacifist, but I'm not angry anymore. Okay. Do you think the docks will always be a hive of scum and villainy? As long as poverty and fear run the show, I don't see how it would change. Misery loves company, as they say. Tell me about your arrest for attempted murder, Tom. I tried to kill someone. I got arrested. I paid my debt and I have nothing to hide. So you mean your customers know about your sordid past? Yeah, <laughs> why do you think this is the last pub open? I have nothing to hide and I don't judge. That's a relief for many round here. Do you think prison changed you? Made you a better man? Oh, I don't know about that. All I brought back is bad memories, scars, <laughs> and an ugly tattoo of a blue turtle. But do you feel cleansed of your sins? All I know is that I'm at peace. I did what I did, but I wouldn't do it again. Does that make me a better man? I don't know. I don't know either. You attempted murder. Give me some details. I was given an order, an order to kill. I was an obedient gang member at the time. Oh. A proud, wet boot boy. Oh. So you were ordered to kill someone. What happened then? I don't know if you can possibly understand, but... I couldn't kill him. I just stood there, pointing my gun. Someone saw me. I gave up. Why couldn't you shoot? My target was eating in that fancy restaurant with mirrors and music. He was eating, drinking, laughing. He was having such a good time. I hated him for his bottomless appetite, an easy life of easy pickings. And then something happened. You refused to kill him because you wanted to feel some of that happiness yourself. You empathized with him. Exactly. The man was a bloody landlord who rented overpriced flats. A selfish bastard. But he made me smile. And I was no different from him. Why did you join the gang? Because I finally felt useful. Do you have any idea what it means to feel respected when the rest of the world shits on you? You lied to me, Tom. Your warehouse wasn't empty. It was inhabited with armed vigilantes. I'm sorry, Dr. Reed, but I thought those pre one guards would be willing to let someone like you pass without trouble. That was devious of you, Tom. Next time you can bloody well go yourself. I apologize, Doctor, but it's just that I prefer to avoid the law, its enforcers, and all manner of thugs in uniform. Very rude, very rude. Ah, I'll give it to him. Here is your booze. I hope it will appease your customers. Just try not to kill anyone with this poison of yours. <laughs> Believe me, Doctor, most of my customers are less agreeable when sober. 50 shillings. Okay, well, 
Goodbye, Mr. Wa- I got Mune for it, so that's good. Quite a bit of Mune. Investigation succeeded! Yay! I should have offered a drink to the boy. Be he cursed or not, he's just another lost orphan. You still working at it? Anything new for you? Yeah! Were you aware of Tom's past incarceration? That's the first thing he told me when he offered me the job. He didn't want me hearing about his past from anyone else. Did it surprise you to find out about it? Not really. I was already aware of his reputation before I met him. That's why I came to the Turtle in the first place. Most people would have run away because of that. Not me. I thought a man like him could give me stability, you know? At least to some degree. And I wasn't mistaken. Tell me, Sabrina, do you really believe Tom has renounced his life of crime? He proves it to me every day he tells the truth. Tom Watts is a good man. One of the best. And you don't think he might fall back into his sordid ways? We can all do terrible things, Dr. Reed. And we never know what we're really capable of until it's too late. True. Okay. Uh... Goodbye, Miss... I'm getting... I'm slowly getting there. Where's the drunk dude? Is he gone? Did I kill him? I can't remember. <laughs> I think I might have. Ah, hello. Shillings and grease. Ooh. More shillings and more shillings. Just go up here and open his safe. That seems a bit rude. This was Dude Bro's room. Okay. And that's all she wrote for here. I didn't deserve this. Okay, well, oh, there you are. I didn't kill you yet. Hi. Good evening, Mr. Delay. What? I don't know how to get back to the place to do the thing. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks, I mean. How dare you say such a thing? I love this neighborhood. So friendly, so joyful. He's not worth anything. Like, I, I really need to feed on him because... Goodbye. Because there's nobody else that's level one. But I don't know how to do his quest. It's super annoying. Okay, what else? Uh, we can try and find this. Bring it back to the relative. We could track that. The game will probably tell me where to put it. Or come up with the grave diggers. Okay. This might lead me to someone I haven't met yet, so I could try and do that, maybe. Probably be a good plan. Let's do that. I don't know where I'm going, though. Apparently back over here. Western docks. Pointing me towards two different people. It's locked. Mm, okay. So I can't get around that way. Hopefully I can get around this way. Okay. Said stay away, sir. Oops. Uh, steady uh, uh, can I get up there? Can I? No. Well, okay then, if you insist. Oh, it's so dumb that I can't jump up there. Hello. Nom 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 nope. 
All right, how to get upstairs? There we go. We shall kill everyone first, and then. Over there! There's one of them vermin. I'm coming to get you. The vermin's coming to get you. Oh, <laughs> damn it! Okay. Who's next? New collectible! Uh, okay. Yeah, there's more dudes that I killed. I know you're out here, dudes. Aluminum powder and bullets! I like bullets. Bullets are good. Okay. Scared myself. Hi there. Uh, how, do I, how the hell do I get over there? I cannot enter. Excuse me. Are you evil? No mother. Yes. Nope. Okay, anyways, uh, so I can't get over there from that way, apparently. Maybe from up here? Over there. Oh, whoa! Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You were the guy from the top. Right, okay. Button. Right, that's where the stuff was. Where the hell? How do I get over there? Balls. In the middle building. What in the world am I missing? Are these? This is locked as well, right? Yeah. Okay, so I can't get back there. Well, this is annoying. Can I go through here? It's locked. That's locked as well. Alright, well, have I not... Have I not unlocked something that I need to unlock? Huh. Maybe you have to go around that way? I don't really know. Clearly I'm missing something to get in there. Clearly. Or I'm missing some really stupid area that I haven't seen. So now I'm here. If I go... There's no door there. No, there's no door there. Can I go through this house? Probably not. Yeah. <sighs> I guess I will make another one of these. Those. Those. Add three stun points. I want the stun points. I think. 
Ooh, we'll need one more common handle part to upgrade this again, which we're totally gonna do. Yes, indeedy doodahs. Oops. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and how the hell I get over there. I'm gonna assume that I can't. Some things seem to be blocked off for me, which is incredibly annoying. It's locked, all right. So someone has to give me the key to get over there, but it doesn't make any sense because I have a quest to go there. It doesn't make any sense at all. Ugh. Well, I guess I'm gonna end this episode here um, because it's sort of a good place to end it, I suppose. Even though it hasn't quite been an hour yet. Uh, this I don't think this was that exciting of an episode, but oh well, I mean, that's gonna happen in the game, I guess. Uh, I'll be back extremely super duper soon for another one. Don't worry, I plan to record this like most of the day. So uh, thank you friends for watching again. Hope you're still enjoying the series. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and I shall see you soon. Goodbye friends, goodbye.